my bed These are words that Go together well My Michelle Michelle Ma belle Sont les mots qui vont Très bien ensemble Très bien ensemble I love you, I love you, I love you That's all I have to say Until I find a way I'll say the only words I know that you will understand I need to, I need to, I need to I need to make you see Just what you mean to me Until I do I'm telling you so you will understand I love you I want you, I want you, I want you I think you know by now I'll get to you somehow Until I do I'm hoping you will know just what I mean Michelle, my belle These are words that go together well My Michelle So I will say the only words I know That you will understand This bird. There are those birds. They are as unwilling to be seen as signals that shoot from the remote to the TV, a one-way discussion. They have no names, at least not yet. Then there are those birds as tight and warm as a young runner's skin, as tight and cold as a frozen river. They are called, respectively, the bird that doesn't sing but pants, and the bird that tries but fails to deliver. There are those birds. Their names are as unhideable as bellies about to give birth. They are eagles, falcons, swans, sun, moon, and even earth. They enter between the marathon runner's shoulder blades and exit through his or her sternum as fast as a clap. They make truckers drive so hard the rubber pulls the road up behind them. Those birds have no subtlety. Not this bird. I won't say this bird's name. You may know him by another and more than I wish for the return of my favorite broken-up band, more than I wish for Siri to stop responding to the accidental brush of the side of my hand on her button, I wish for you not to be confused. I don't want you to think that bird he talks about with such rapture and insight. It has nothing to do with the bird I hear outside my window. This bird is well rested. He's not up before dawn like those frantic robins that think night is a fire that has blackened their feathers forever. This bird is sensible about his glasses. When they break, he makes of them splints and crutches for birds and other creatures who have fallen into the clutches of old man injury. This bird is incisive. He uses two notes, and would use one, were it not for the prejudice that insists the repetition of one note is not singing. Yes, it appalls him. But he knows his singing will help no one if he's the only one who knows it is song. The thought of this bird is stubborner than the eyes in the mantle paintings in haunted houses and silly movies. For this thought 
follows you wherever you go and wherever you do not. This bird will make Google eyes at you if that's what it takes. He will transform himself into the drinking bird on your grandmother's shelf above the sink, forever trying to slake its thirst, though it knows it cannot drink through its plastic beak, not even if you sneak in at night and make a hole in it. Just as he goes on dipping and dipping, I could go on ripping off and ripping off the mystical poets and the manufacturers of kitsch. But I will say just one thing more. I know you will try to bribe me, force me, trick me into revealing this bird's name. You might as well lock that door and burn it. I won't reveal the secret, even if this bird himself implores me to do it.